Okay, my friends, electron flood theory replaces the nucleus, which was normally consisted of big protons and neutrons. Well, it doesn't. It consists of a bazillion little electrons. Every one of them is an electron. Now, where there was 1830, I'm sorry, where there was one proton before, just consider it a ball like this of 1837 electrons and a neutron is 1838. Now, when they come out of here in a laser, you're down in the light range, which is not in the proton range. We know that. You're not shooting protons out when you're shooting light out. You're shooting out photons. Totally different situation. What's a photon? I will show you it there, because I can show you this red laser light coming out of here as little balls of waves. And then I'm going to show you it accelerate. And then I'm going to show you it explode. And then I'm going to show you what these particles look like here. And they look like little particles just like that. Dark and white and black spots. And then they separate. And the white explodes. And the black ones, which is dark matter, I believe, at this point now, does nothing when it concusses. The white explodes. The black ball rolls away. And we're going to see this happen right now. There is the wave of light. So light is light. If that's red laser light, that's red laser light. This is red laser light accelerating. All right, that was a wave before. It wasn't going to accelerate, except we have a venturi here. A venturi is two circles of steel. And these are being forced this wave is being crushed and the particle is being sucked right out of it just like it does in a hose and we can see the particle so when we come back here and look we actually can see the particle right down here you see the particle down here the black and white 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 well when it hits the venturi the black and the white separate you see, now you see in the black and the white. There's the black balls. Remember, they were square, a little like this before. Now you got the black and you got the white. That, I believe, is dark matter. It has no energy, it is a carrier. Does it exist everywhere, just laying around, waiting to attach to energetic particles? I think maybe. Prior, I thought that they always had to be attached. And I think they do. I think they do. I think they're normally going to be attached like that with a black ball and a white ball, just like we saw before, back here, whoops, back here, and, and that comes in uh, green too, the same, whoops, the same look in green, identical, white and, and green, and, and you know, well anyway, I'll show you, and then you can see, and you can see that it, it, it speeds up and slows down, this is light sped up. That's the particle spinning to the right, drifting to the left, exactly what you expect, and slowing down. So we know it accelerated. You can see it accelerated. Up here, there's no question it accelerated. Otherwise, it would have stayed just like this. So, the case is closed, as far as I'm concerned, on light being a particle, first of all. Secondly, being able to accelerate.